Pakistan, the country where since 9-11 there is almost no tourism. But is this country only what we can see on the media? The country is offering not only the most astonishing landscapes and panoramic views, moreover, it breaks down all the stereotypes around the Islamic image of a terrorist country and gifts you with beautiful and unexpected moments of limitless hospitality. This is the Young Traveler Club and welcome to our very first video on this channel. Okay, starting the recording. I will call this recording a podcast about Pakistan. So, um, we were traveling for three weeks through Pakistan. at this insane speed with our father because uh, he has a pretty intense traveling style and we have been prepared to enter a country which is going to be very difficult and in many aspects in terms of religion, tourism or also infrastructure or food and poverty. Also we passed uh, through the border and it was actually pretty intense. We passed through 18 pass controls but it was it was okay for such a border we were expecting much more controls and uh, on the pakistani side it was surprisingly uh, more chill in terms of control and we were especially very afraid because of our drone we had most of the problems um, always with camera equipment was around the drone so we had luck and they did not check our bags and then we entered Lahore. Lahore was uh, um, similar to any other Indian and chaotic big city um, but something was different ar around the people because uh, maybe it's because of the religion it's another religion right but um, the people are also more open to photography in Pakistan and that's why we could capture such epic shots of um, so many portraits of people that are always kind and always say yes if you want to shoot a photograph of them. And then we entered the country and it was far away from that stereotypical terrorist image. Don't want to idealize for sure there are some problems especially regarding the position of a woman in the society that's why we almost made no pictures and video material around women because uh, it's very hard to capture them it's it's very hard because the men are always having problems filming his wife Women are most of the time working at home and uh, are hidden from the eyes of men and in an interview with Irina Mamchinka, who is a Russian woman living since 2015 in Pakistan, uh, said that women have less protection and are more vulnerable to sexual harassment. Женщины работают в банковских учреждениях, занимают руководящие должности там. Их мало, процент один-два, возможно, это там не 20 процентов, но маловато. В школах работают женщины, в университетах в основном преподаватели, учителя. Так скажем, в плане правительственных учреждений, да, есть министры у нас, потихонечку становится, но все равно авторитет мужчины как был, так и есть. И мужчина более послушает, нежели чем женщина. Ну, есть нюанс. В глубинках, конечно, женщины дома сидят. Женщина, я Кепике, провинцию взять, Кепике, Балачистан. Там закрытая территория, они до сих пор же женщины в топе бурка ходят с закрытыми лицами. Мужчина не даст возможность выйти женщины без сопровождения, без покрытия головы, лица. 
на улицу. Моя женщина, моя собственная. Не, Пакистан с терроризмом не имеет никакого отношения общего. Есть районы, приграничные территории, конечно же, есть. Соответственно, есть люди, которые, скорее всего, тренируются. Да. Но мирных жителей сейчас это не затрагивает уже много лет, уже с 2010 года, ну, после 2012 -го года уже ситуация стабилизировалась здесь. Вы знаете, по-моему, везде хватает людей с отклонениями, не только в Пакистане, просто в Пакистане у вас уже шаблон. Куда бы вы ни пошли, просто у вас это терроризмом не, не, наз, не назовут. А если у нас рикша с газовым баллоном сейчас на базаре взорвется, то эта новость облетит весь шарик земной и скажет, у нас произошел теракт. Вот и все. Потому что Пакистан. А на самом деле кто-то покурил в рикше. С образованием можно получить только за деньги. Потому что у нас как таковой системы образования в Пакистане нет. Нет, централизованной нет, обязательной программы нет, читать, писать научат. Но есть школы частные, основанные на системе образования Великобритании, либо Штатов. Европейская, либо американская, вот, они уже дорогие. Университеты тоже на этой базе Привет. есть, при private. И там в каждом университете своя система образования, своя, в каждом. И это плохо. Это мое субъективное мнение. <смех> Народ обращает внимание, это не стандарт, потому что я в защите полной езжу, а еще если видят волосы сзади, плюс еще иностранка, Народ останавливается, ну, конечно, приветливо относится, всегда welcome to Pakistan, спрашивает hello, how are you, where are you from, а мне за 7 лет эти вопросы каждый день уже, ой, как надоели, ну, не стандарт. Traveling in Pakistan had many highlights, for example, the Karakarum Highway or the Nanga Parbat Mountain. We captured some very nice drone shots of it. This is the Ferry Meadows village where you can stay and sleep. Also, we went to the Hunza Valley, and the Hunza Valley is something different from the rest of the Pakistan. It has some kind of a more local vibe. I want to pass the suspension bridge. Uh, I think 25 female tourists came from uh, the, uh, that way. So it's very positive that people are uh, you know, traveling to Pakistan and especially this region. It's far, but they are traveling. And I'm sure that uh, 
most of people don't know about uh, this place. You can uh, like uh, walk 12 a.m., 1 a.m. in the night, midnight or late night. You can walk everywhere. Or no one will. Uh, you will safe. You will feel safe. No one will ask you why you are walking or why you are, what you are doing here. It has a, a very close community. Basically, uh, uh, in Hunza or in Gilgit, Baltistan. But it's, uh, it's a uh, development uh, network, AKDN. It works a lot in every place, in every country, like in Afghanistan, uh, in, Afghanistan in uh, Africa, in Pakistan, in uh, Tajikistan. It works a lot to, uh, in every project, like in school, in hospital, and in uh, like uh, if you need anything uh, for uh, uh, to work in or, uh, on a village or you need for a community, you have to request or you can uh, a chat with them. So they are very supportive and they are working on. I would really recommend visiting the Hunza Valley because there you can see the untouched nature of Gilgit and Baltistan and also we had the chance to visit this place in the golden autumn time and where everything was red and yellow and the mountains with the snow. It's definitely worth visiting Pakistan in early or late spring and early autumn. In this valley, in this Hunza Valley, there's this little small village uh, called Pasu and this village is surrounded by glaciers. The Pasu Peak is around 7,300 meters high and here in the front you can see the glacier. It's much better for photography even though the glacier is smaller than uh, the other Batura glacier. But here you can see all the white um, ice and, 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 and all the stones rolling down. Pakistan has four out of 14 8,000ers and this is pretty insane because uh, it has so much value for the touristic industry. Pasu, a mountainous village in Pakistan, very hipsters place. Uh, all around us, big walls of seven, six, eight thousand meters high mountains. Traveling through the Karikarum Highway felt like an endless road. Um, it, it actually is kind of endless because after 
uh, the highest passes in Pakistan, it continues into China and then it loses itself into the desert of Taklamakan and it's going on and on, almost like the Silk Road. It's super long and there's, there's no beginning in, or, or an end to it. Karimabad is a very beautiful village uh, along the Karikarum Highway and down below you can see the river, the Indus River and a very high mountain named Rakaposhi and it's almost 8,000 meters high and it's uh, almost usual. The final point of our trip was the town Skardu. The village is known for mineral mining and crystals and it has also a cold desert which we did not manage to visit. Our personal highlight was the flight back. Because for us mountain freaks, we all always like to look at the mountains from above and we have seen the highest peaks and the Nanga Parbat mountain. We couldn't capture any insane pictures out of the plane, but uh, trust me, it was worth the money for the flight. Going back to the border, we made it to India safely and now we are here cutting this video in Rishikesh. And so we have tried to show you the all-round image of Northern Pakistan and give you some insights what it's like traveling as a foreigner and living as a foreigner and living as a local also in this country. One thing is sure, it is one of the most underrated countries in the world.